Hey guys, it's macOS Gurex here. A lot of people have been asking me about how I got this toolbar down at the bottom of my website, such as the YouTube gallery. Which is a really cool feature. We also have the online view for your time status, you can see here. You can open up Twitter. You can join chat. It's pretty cool. And you can also view the last notification that was sent out through the toolbar. You can also hide the toolbar here. And there it comes back up. So there you can see, um, that's new on my website along with this little Twitter thing here. But a lot of people ask me, how do I get this on my website? So I'm here to show you. It's called the Wivia Toolbar. So I'll provide the link in the sidebar. And what this toolbar does is you can have what I had there. So you can see general status here of who's using what. You can see um, the benefits that you've gained through this. So we'll go up here and edit our toolbar. You'll, all you have to do is create an account and you're greeted with a add applications page to your design and you can choose from all these different apps. So it's just search, latest post, subscribe via uh, RSS, Facebook fan page, games. Uh, this is where I have the chat. Create a custom navigation menu that you can add, that you can edit and put what you want on there and it, have it on every page of your website. So it's a really cool thing. YouTube Gallery I suggest everyone gets because it's a great application. You can also see here what will increase your page views. You can also edit toolbar where you can add and configure your current ones like I have Twitter account set up and everything like that. Also you can install again if you have any type of problems you can install it with all these things automatically or install manually by taking the code. You can also go to settings where you can change all sorts of settings and update the toolbar. When you update the toolbar you do not need to edit new code because automatically the code that you enter onto your website is a code that links back to a saved version of it on their website so you never have to re-enter your code. And then also you can choose different themes and see a preview down below of the color. So if you wanted a Windows website I suggested the blue gradient. So that's basically what it is and that will get you this down here. 